Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota and we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of issues on their smartphones and tablets and other mobile devices. Now, one of the services that we're most frequently asked to perform by our clients is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. It's something that Google added back in Android 5 to where the device, when it's factory reset without first removing the Google Account Lock that's on it, it then asks for that account after the reset is complete. Now here with us today, we happen to have a Galaxy S7 Edge. I don't know if the focus will cooperate here on the back, but this one is actually the international model. So this is one that is not sold in the US as designated by the F uh, letter there on the end of the model number. So it's one that's sold throughout Europe and a lot of other countries, but we're making this video specifically because a lot of people have been contacting us lately asking us about this device and to get this done. Clients who have either imported the device here into the U.S. or even clients from other countries because apparently a lot of other businesses and companies have been unable to get the lock removed. We wanted to make a video showing our clients that that is a model that we service uh, and that we're able to do that. So this device does have the lock on it. We've purposely initiated the Google account lock here on this device. So of course, during the setup, we get to the screen that asks for the Google account there to be logged in with. But that's something that we've actually already done 99% of the work to remove. So I just need to go ahead and restart the phone here. And we should be able to see that we then are able to proceed through the setup without seeing that lock. So give it one second to do the restart here. And then we'll show you the model information and everything from the settings to in fact verify the type of device that we're working with here. I should also mention this is, of course, now because this is aimed at an international device, this is a service that can be performed remotely for anyone anywhere in the world as long as you have a decently powerful Windows computer as well as a fast internet connection. We can connect directly to you and perform the exact same procedure that we've done here on the device in hand. Uh, this would be quite difficult to actually physically send a device from a different country here to the U.S., but we have that taken care of, so you don't have to worry about that. So we're still booting up here. Give it a second. Okay, there we go. We've got our welcome screen. So we're going to go through the process. Wi-Fi, we're going to tap next. Agree to the terms and conditions, yes. Keep going. Checking, come on. And you can feel free to skip ahead if you don't want to sit through all of this. This might just take 30 seconds or so. Another thing that I should also mention is that it can also be done to the regular S7, which would be the G930F. We just happen to have an S7 Edge here in hand as the uh, test version that we're working with today. But the same procedure can apply to both devices as they're essentially the same device, just with a different screen on it is the only difference. Okay, this is still sitting on that screen, so I'm actually going to back up and disconnect the Wi-Fi. And then I think that will make it skip that step. So now if we keep going through, okay, there we go, page about Google services, and hit next. Just a sec, date and time. Okay, so this is a good indication because we never got this, we could never get this far previously in the setup step. We always got stopped at that screen asking us for the Google account lock. So we're gonna skip protection options. We're gonna skip the Samsung account. Skip, 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 skip. We don't need to restore. We don't need to customize. And boom, there we are. So now finally got our home screen loaded up here. So the lock has been completely removed and the device is now fully accessible as far as the home screen and all the settings and features. Like I said, I'll go ahead and jump in the settings here just to show you what we're working with. 
uh, there we go. So we've got our device name and model number there that you can see. So does the international version of the S7 Edge. And then also under software information, then there we go. Okay, so from the build number there, this is one of the more recent software releases that has come out for this device. If my focus will cooperate. Come on, there we go. So if we scroll down, we can see that the security patch level is from earlier this year. So this is something specifically, like we've said, that other businesses have had trouble getting uh, fixed on this specific device. So we're just making this video to let clients know that it is actually something that can be done here at our business. So if you have an international S7 or S7 Edge and need to get the Google account lock removed from it, go ahead and contact us because we would love to help you out with that. All of our contact information will be right in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all the information there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos that we're constantly putting up just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.